name is Don Falls. I'm, I'm not here to make a comment. We're here to do our job. Okay. May I see those documents? You might want him the way you're going to be getting the cheese out through the door on the side. Right, because that's the way the UPS always took it out so it's easy access. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I ask, I ask we weigh it as it comes out. Weigh it? Okay. Yeah, because there's a set of scales sitting there. I like to have it weighed as it comes out. Like I said, there's easy access. But you get some still shots there? Okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Brooks. Get okay. some still shots. Yes. That's what you'll be coming out. Right, yeah, okay. The amount of cheese that you're planning to take today? It's approximately 32,000 pounds. Is that approximate or is well, my we understanding don't know. Is that there was a, there was a, a stipulated amount in the, uh, in the legal document? And you are with the milk board? Uh, yeah. Okay. Your name, sir? Jerry J. State Milk Board. Jerry, Michael Evans, how are you? I'm fine. So, the real premise behind this, and I know that you've, your your office has received some calls from, from our uh, congressmen and our senators over the course of the last 24, 48 hours. Uh, is there a reason why the milk board would not allow them to test the actual I, cheese that's available? You know, available? I don't have anything to do with that. And what are you doing here? Calls. I'm just here to help these guys. I, I'm, a, I'm a farm inspector. Okay. I don't do anything with the plants. So you're unwilling to make a statement for the press, for the record? I'm let Don make the statement. Well, he's already said he won't make any statements. I'm saying. You're the same? Yeah. So no one has any comment? I, I have not comment. Uh, okay. So how much cheese are you planning to take out of here today? I'm not even aware of that. Yeah, I don't I'm just here to help. Here, help load. Well, so okay. who is who is? Who, who actually is with the milk board? Don Falls. Are there only three of you? You two uh, gentlemen and, and Don and Roger. Ron and Roger. Okay, and who is Roger? Is he here? Yeah, Roger's here. If you're helping unload the cheese, at what point do you stop? You know, who says, hey, that's enough? Who's this gentleman in the car? Is he is he with you yeah. folks? Yeah. Okay. That's Larry. Huh? That's who? Larry. Huh? I thought you said there was just Don and Roger. No, there's Don and Roger. It's five of them. And Larry. Five. Oh, Larry. Okay. Okay. <coughs> he actually has some paperwork. He doesn't work for the milk board. Don I read it. They have, an, they have an order. You gentlemen, do you work for the milk board? Yep. And you say you are a farmer? Farm inspectors. Did you say you farm? Yeah, this farm inspector. Okay, just farm inspectors. So you're not farmers, you're farm oh, no, inspectors. No, no. Oh, no. Farm inspectors. Do you consider labor to be of value? Guys, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into I'm not gonna get I will say one thing that your silence, the very fact that you're that you are here is, is your statement. That right. is your statement. You guys are right. entitled to your You to bet your you we are entitled. That's right. But not not the entitlement that you probably approve of. Who's this guy? Are you with the milk board, sir? Yes, sir. I work for milk board. Your name, sir? Larry Basson. Michael Evans. Glad to meet you. And uh -huh. what, uh, you the owner? No, sir. I'm the, the owner. owner is right oh, here. Well, Mr. The, Dixon. The state is the owner since it's been through court. I used to be the owner oh. of the cheese. As of this morning, you're the owner. Well, uh, I'm not. Well, the state took possession of it. That's why there's an embargo letter the, on the door. I'm not the state, though. Uh, hmm. You're representing the state. I work for the state. You represent the state. Yes. And you represent the state the same way Stalin, Hitler, Lenin, Mussolini, all of them do and did. Don't forget Edie on I, want, I, want, I would like to say something here. We are praying for these men. We're praying for all of us for the repentance of our nation to turn back to the one who created this world and this country and gave us one of the greatest countries on the face of the earth that we're now losing to what's happening, to what's going on. If there's any actual sicknesses or illnesses, I'd have no problem destroying the cheese myself. But there has been none. They haven't been able to prove any. This cheese was sold and given away to people with immune deficiencies, people who couldn't afford to buy it. We gave it to them. People who were going bankrupt, we gave it to them.
to try to help keep them alive as this country is being torn, torn apart and rendered asunder. And there's a Bible verse that I would like to quote if you people wouldn't mind. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will heal their land. Amen. We're yes. seeing the fulfillment of our wicked ways as a people. And that includes each and every one of us. These men are here to just do a job. They're hired and paid. They don't think beyond that necessarily. I have pity for them. I feel sorry for them. Because all of us will meet a just and accurate God at one point. All right. It just depends upon when. And this is to be a peaceful gathering. This is to be peaceful. Let them do their jobs. But I ask for the repentance of our nation to turn back to the Creator. For we are losing it. We're losing it for our children, our grandchildren, and the future. And that's what this fight has been about. Right. It's about the tyranny of what's coming upon us. And it's each little piece of it. It's not just the, it's not these men are just doing a job. But that, but that is what they said under Hitler, Mussolini, Stalin, Lenin, all of them. As countries were rendered asunder. Thank you. This is an injustice. Amen. Sir. Good job. Not just at all. <laughs> sir, you may be uncomfortable. I'm the, not. But the truth is that what you're doing is wrong. Uh, I'm just doing what? Doing my job. My job. That, that, he said that in Nuremberg, with all due respect. What is what is the job worth, though, really, when it comes to our nation? I there mean, are better jobs. If you participate things. in the destruction, then you're as guilty as everyone Absolutely. else. Absolutely. I had to leave a few jobs myself because of conflict, spiritual conflicts. And what's right and wrong? These people haven't done anything wrong. Well, the milk board, if the milk board, if the milk board was intending to be fair, what they would essentially allow them to do is test what's damaged or test what's tainted and destroy that and retain the remainder. And unfortunately, the milk board has seen fit to utilize the heavy hand of abuse that they have under administrative rules, which are not law, but are treated as such. And that's a, that's a crime. With all due respect, sir, that's a crime. Absolutely. And you're a perpetrator in that crime by participating and working here with these people today. That's the truth. You you have your right to... That's not an opinion, that's a fact, well, sir. We, you're not you're, have any rights anymore. Not that's much longer, apparently. You, you, right you are entitled to your own opinions, but not your own facts. That is a fact, what he just said. He said we have a right. Well, these people had a right to make a living, too, an honest living. Now they don't have that right anymore. It's been taken away from them. Well, there has There's been no due diligence. You due haven't diligence. had your ox gored yet, have you? These people just got their ox gored. You're liable to suffer what these people have someday. That may be. Maybe. Maybe sooner than you think. We all may be do doing the same thing that these people are going through. It won't be fun. You may have the opportunity someday to suffer what these people are suffering. Because when these, these people don't have any have any qualms about doing to you what you're doing to them. The simple fact is that this gathering of people here today ought to tell you what the real issue is going on here in our nation. These people are concerned enough and upset enough about the, what we see as the destruction of our nation, that they are willing to come out here this morning, some of us have been here since 6 o'clock, to make sure that we record and establish what's really happening here. That we have an agency that is absolutely run amok and is completely out of control. And you are more than willing to destroy a family farm and a family business so that someone can punch a bureaucratic ticket. There's, it's inexcusable that you would destroy all of this cheese when it's never even been tested. That is inexcusable. If you find one bad apple in the bushel, you don't throw out the entire bushel. You throw out the bad apple. And the fact that the milk board has refused to allow this cheese to be tested to determine what's tainted and what's not is inexcusable. Well, didn't the feds do a hundred tests? It came, came up back clean. They swabbed the facility and came up and did a hundred tests under the FDA guidelines and found 100 out of the 99 swabs that were done, 100 percent came back negative for results. They even stuck the swab down the drain. Say, Joe.
Yeah, I'd ask for your assistance. We need, we're going to get have to get those vehicles moved away from them so we can get the trailer. Well, you have there. to ask all of them, or else you have to take the dumpster all the okay. way out, take it all the way out to the road. That's up to those people. Folks, anyone parked along that drive, you need to move your vehicles because we got to get the trailer in. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sir, where, 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 where would you like us to move them? Move them anywhere else but here. Okay. okay. Well, have to, uh, let's go up before we get a signal. Oh. Get your phone. So, so you guys are okay um, do, doing work that uh, is unjust, unjustified. The milk board wouldn't allow them to test the cheese. You're aware of that, right? The cheese was tested, okay? It, 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 it was a bad test, and, and they, they wanted to retest, and, and uh, your department wouldn't let them test okay. it. Okay. That's a fact. <laughs> uh. You realize the Nazis were just doing a job, right? They were killing people. They were just doing their job. How many farms have you personally destroyed? He is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You enjoy destroying people's lives? <laughs> Sir, I'm going to ask you to quit no, you harassing can't. me. I'm not quit harassing. Har yes, you are harassing no, me. No, I'm, I'm on a I'm friend's property, you. okay. and you're not a friend. <laughs> and uh, I have the right. right to videotape. Okay. Well, the sheriff is going to be coming. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, I called the sheriff. Mm -hmm. But you're on private property, and we're allowed to videotape pretty much anything we want to videotape. He can back down there. Yeah, he can. There, there's, room, there's room if you want to back down there. <laughs> 